Alright guys, I got a really good battle here, and I know I always say I got a good battle, but this one was easily the best battle I've had all year. But yeah, it's against Soup from Smogon, and he's, he said he never used his team before, but he did really well if he hadn't used it, so yeah. I don't want to take the Earthquake, so I go to Latias, and he doesn't want to take the Draco meter, so he goes to Scizor. Now, normally I don't really like to bring in Latias so early in the game because of this, but yeah, like I don't really have much against Swampert leads, so he pursues me since he knew I was gonna switch, but I didn't really have a choice. I went to this Rotom, and he's using Diamond or Pearl, so he didn't know it was a Rotom form, but he guessed it was, so that was a really good um, prediction by him. And I go to Latias as fodder because I don't want anything to take a Fire Blast. So I go to Black Chrome since I, I was trying to make him think I misclicked. So I try to Earthquake him since I have the Oka Berry which weakens fire attacks. But he predicts the Earthquake and goes to Latias and yeah. Like I try to hit it and Bullet Punch but it didn't kill it. He lives with like 1 or 2 HP. And I get up my Stealth Rock and he predicts that and he recovers twice gets up two Calm Mines so now my Metagross is almost dead but I finish him off this turn so that's that's alright for me so now his Infernape counter one of them is dead he still has this Heat Ram which is probably Scarfed and I'm just gonna leave in this Metagross to die because yeah I go to this uh, Tyranitar since it'll force out the Heat Ram I knew he was gonna bring in Swampert but I took off Crunch and I added Fire Punch so earthquake was my best option and I don't want to take the earthquake or surf or waterfall so I go to Rotom which could take any of those and hopefully I'll get a burn up on this thing and he would over predict that I'll Tebow or something but he protects so that's playing mind games on me right now but I'm just still gonna go for the for the will-o-wisp since I don't really give a fuck about flash fire heat ran and a burnt swampert would really help me out so I go to the Tyranitar because it could take a fire blast pretty well because of the sandstorm boost oh shit what the fuck what am I the killer nacho but cause he always says that you get it but yeah enough of my lame jokes he brings in the Breloom to take the obvious earthquake so good prediction on his part and Breloom is really gay but what are you gonna do like that shit's poor shit but he actually subs first, which was probably a mistake. But like I think I said already, he it was his first time using this team. So yeah, like he sets up a sub and I break it, and then he finally puts me to sleep. So that's cool now because I get to bring in Rotom. Hopefully he won't use Leech Seed. But yeah, he does use Seed Bomb, so I don't have to worry about the Leech Seed since I'm like 99.9% .9 sure his other move is Focus Punch. And it looks like I can take another uh, seed bomb, but I guess he missed that I was faster. Maybe he wasn't paying attention to the leftovers. But I finished him off with the overheat. So this thing is almost dead, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to switch it in and out anymore. So I'm just going to leave it in here as fodder, but he he thought I'd switch, I guess, and he used U-turn. And he has an Infernape of his own, which is kind of bad because I didn't see the life orb. And I don't really like to speed tie with it. So yeah, I thought maybe he was scarfed and that was gonna ruin my Infernape. But yeah, like I leave this thing in here, the Rotom to die, and he uses hidden power. I'm guessing his grass since he probably thought I was gonna go to the Tyranitar. But I go to Torokis since I know he he has to switch. And he was probably gonna switch to Swampert predicting the T wave, but I use Nasty Plot and then Air Slash and I do get a crit here. I'm not entirely sure if it mattered since I do have Serene Grace and that 60% chance of flinching. But that's what happened and yeah. So he goes to Heeran and I'm no I know he's gonna explode. But I was thinking I might be able to live it since this token is a fucking beast, but it looks like I didn't take it, so that kinda sucks. And now it's two against two. His Scizor and Infernape versus my Tyranitar and Kakarot, which is my Infernape. So I didn't go to Infernape because I was at this point I was still thinking his Infernape was scarfed, and I wanted him to get the minus defense with close combat. But yeah, like he U-turns, goes to his Infernape, 
and I don't think this was a speed tie unless he runs max speed as well but standard mix a doesn't and that crit was useless and you guys most of you already know what happens he bullet punches I live and I kill him off but the sand and life war finishes me off so very good game my second tie ever and comment rate all of that shit I'm out